Hello you. <laughs> Stayed in Killarney last night. Lovely town, love the place. However, I didn't take any video there. As you can imagine, after walking 45 kilometers, I was wrecked. And the last thing I wanted to be doing was going around taking more video from my day. Anyway, I had a good time there. I've left this morning and I'm headed towards Muck Ross House, then Torque Waterfall, then up into the hills. So all good, head good, body good, feet good, mind good, all good. Let's go. house next to the Ring of Kerry, a 19th century manor house that was built by the Herbert family. An interesting fact about this property which I read about was that Queen Victoria was due to visit the estate in the 1850s and as a result extensive renovations were taking place here and that's what led to the eventual bankruptcy of the Herbert family. The house and the estate was then sold to a wealthy American family who in time gifted the property and the state to the Irish government. And then this area as we know it today was turned into a national park. Really spectacular house, really spectacular surroundings. To be honest, I'm never quite sure what to feel in a place like this. And the reason being that Irish manor houses are a symbol of Anglo-Irish aristocracy. And generally speaking, Irish manor houses are connected to the oppression of the Irish people. If you think about it, this house was built in the 1840s, at which time most of the country was extremely poor. And the Great Famine took place in 1846, 1847, at which time most of the country was struggling to survive. So it often leads me to wonder in a place like this, what kind of power was inside this house? And also, what kind of people were living in such lush, lavish, luxury circumstances all the while most of the people around them were literally struggling to survive? I'm walking the Torque Waterfall right now. It's quite a spectacular waterfall, named after the mountain above it. So when I reach that waterfall, I'm also gonna have to start going up the switchbacks, which, if I remember correctly, are quite steep. That was mad. I actually met one of those ladies and the two kids outside Milltown Malby, what must have been more than two weeks ago, up in Clare. And here I am walking right past them on the side of a mountain in Killarney Kerry. It's just really wild. They live in Ballingiri, which is in Cork, and not too far from here, so it's not outside the realms of possibilities by any means, but I still ask myself, what are the probabilities of that happening? Three hundred calories. This is a cliff bar. These are huge in North America. All the hikers eat them because they're filled with calories. And when you're hiking the long distance trails in America, you'll notice that most of the hikers are carrying like five or six of these at a time. And that's because they're easy to pack, they're small to fit in the backpack, but they contain a lot of calories, which is needed for long distance hiking. They taste good, but if you eat enough of them, not so much. Mm. 
I haven't had one of these in like three years since the Pacific Crest Trail. Mm. Very good. It's very much a, sort of a, like a, a fairy tale vibe walking along through a landscape like this. You can just see in every direction, it's very green and you have all these boulders protruding up out of the side of the hills. You might remember when I was back in Tralee I was camping with a couple, Luke and Kelly. Well, tonight I'm actually gonna cross paths with them again, I think, because when I went off to walk the Dingle Peninsula and to the Great Blasket Island, they came here to the Kerry Way, and I believe they are in the Kenmare area tonight. So I'm gonna find out where they are, and hopefully we can camp together wherever that might be. Talk about we're kind of talking about this. Like. 